We are very proud to present the story of Andy Warhol. The Krito Popa, the first artist to celebrate the idea of mass production and duplication. He famously said, in the future, everyone will be famous for painting. So was he predicting the rise of the Zeddy celebrity or the power of the internet? So now for the next 15 minutes, we shall explore what made Andy Warhol famous forever. Andy Warhol was born Andy Warhol in Pittsburgh. Their parents were from Slow, Slow, what year were they? Americanized their surname. How do you find them? When Andy was a child, he loved to dance. I love to dance. Andy would dance so much that he would often end up in hospital for months on end. Andy started to be scared of hospitals and doctors. Ring, ring. Sorry. Hello? Who's that? What is it? Say quiet the dance? Right, I say that makes no small sense. What? What is it? It was just our researcher, Professor Popaski from the University of Warhol in Pittsburgh. And he said that Warhol suffered from safe by the stars not because he loved to dance. And it is serious nervous disorder. Oh right, I'm so sorry about that. D does that mean I can't dance? Same by this dance is sort of spams made in the facial and the face, the facial and leg muscles. So it's sort of like a dance. Andy would end up in hospital so much and begin to be scared of hospitals and doctors. Andy dear, we need to sort out this horror problem, so I'm going to take you to the doctor. <laughs> it's Andy, isn't it? I'm Dr. Kirola. Right, but I recommend lots of bed rest and fluids. That's just all you got. Has he gone? Yes, he's gone, but you really should make such a pass. Where are you? In hospital. In hospital? Ah! Well, for heaven's sake, do calm down. Look, I bought you a radio, some paper, pencils, and pictures of your favorite movie. Yes, we're putting you some quick hits from Hank to the and we're going to them over and over again because they are on record. Firstly, here's a hit record from this year. We saw while you work by the seven bars. The same record over and over again. And look at the pictures of your favorite pieces of Look, best friend is that, isn't he dreaming? Hi, I'm Fred is I'm dreaming. You can buy lots of pictures of me. Draw me, Andy. Draw me. Become an artist. Become an artist. Duplicated pictures cut out of magazines, easily and readily available. I do not know what this all means, but maybe it all makes sense in the future. After leaving school, Andy Warhol studied to become a commercial artist. I shall seek my fortune in the city. But where to start? Hey, Andy, please meet you. I'm the owner of a magazine. How would you like to come work? Well, for me. What sort of things can I draw? Well, Andy, I think you do well in agriculture. You draw quick? I certainly can. Quick? I can sell millions of shoes. Can you help me? You come to the right place. That's going to be Andy. Me. And you good? You know, it's amazing. Do more. And he did do more. Hundreds and hundreds of pretty pictures of shoes. Are you Mr. Warhol? I am. See, I have been watching your work really closely. I'm on the Bully Gallery in New York. These pictures of shoes, well, they're around the fan. You should put them in an exhibition. All right. Hi, Andy. I work for a big graphic company, and I've seen a new magazine for sure. How do you feel about dying graphic please? Oh, what? Right. Andy's work was in great demand. He started to create new, quite a race of many pictures. I have come up with some screen printed process. I can use it for handheld images and photographs. Maybe I could mingle both of them together. And then something changed about his work. Um, hey, Andy. Hi, Andy. Excuse me, Andy. 
what is it? Well, it's a magazine image. It is very old. It's the new pictures of the gallery. What about them? It has smudges. This one is weird. This print is still in the perfections. And? Well, it's not perfect. It looks like it doesn't make a chance. You've clearly made some mistakes. I have. You have? You have? You have? Yes, you see. If you do something exactly wrong, you always turn up something. I see. I get it. I understand. So? I love it. It's brilliant. Do more. I'd love to. But there's so much demand. I need to play a factory. Hi, I'm Andy Warhol. Hi, I'm Andy Warhol. Hi, I'm Andy Warhol. I have painted duplicated pictures on Marilyn Monroe. I've painted pictures of a hundred soup cats because... Oh, look very sad. <sighs> Why don't you paint a picture of something people see every day? Like a cat with a soup cat. I mainly painted that one because I really, really like soup. I painted hundred dollars once. I painted duplicated pictures of Elvis Presley. I want to papers and contributions. Especially when I painted a hundred cook bottles. Why are you painting pictures that celebrate consumer culture? Why are you celebrating something so shallow and fleeting? Because America is great. The rich buy the same thing as the very poor. Watch TV and see the president drinking Coca-Cola. A famous actress drinking Coca-Cola. And you'll think, hey, I can drink Coca-Cola too. Coke is Coke. It's the same everywhere. No money can buy you a better Coke than the one the homeless guy is drinking on the street corner. All Cokes are safe. All Cokes are safe. The actress knows it, the president knows it, the homeless guy knows it, and you know it. <gasps> That's brilliant! I love it! To cope with all this duplication, all this work. Yes, I need to make a factory. I will have assistance. I'll do more than paint. I will make films. And I will start a rock band. The Velvet Underground. I'll become very famous. Lots of people will want to work for me. Hey Andy, have you read my script? I will make all ask it, on the end of the Hey Andy, have you read my script? A script for a film I thought your company might make? You know the one about making sure that um, all men must die? Uh, no, I think I lost it. What's her name again? Valerie. Valerie Solanas, I'll make sure you never forget my name. Everything was in slow motion. I saw her pulling the gun. I heard the bad.
He is the most predictor of our times. He would constantly push the boundaries of what art was. Pop some paint there. Hold it up. What do you got? A map. Art! And you all became good friends with a young artist called Bastard. What are you working on, Andy? I'm thinking of painting canvases in copper paint. Well, you can paint on top of them. I think it would be more interesting if the copper paint was oxidized. You can leave them outside, I suppose. No, that would take too long. They look all the same. I know, you're in the right effect. You're in? We.